wuss. Part wimp, part puss. I have no choice. I'm part of the ceremony. I thought you were already circumcised. It's one night for a friend. What about the friend who has two tickets to see Brubeck at the Blue Nut? I thought you had an orgy plan. I lied. Are you lying about the Brubeck tickets? Yes, but only to save you from yourself. I'll be fine, and so will Cuddy if you don't show up. I'm surprised she even invited you. It is oddly flattering. <clears throat> Let's see. How do I keep house from ruining my precious display of religious hypocrisy? I know, I'll pressure him to attend, knowing that he'll never agree to anything I actually want him to do. I didn't pressure you, I invited you. And there's nothing hypocritical about recognizing your heritage. So you keeping kosher now? Wearing four-cornered garments, slaughtering heifers to the god Ra? Wait, is that when you're people? Do it all, do nothing, or option C, you're a liar and a hypocrite. House? For better or for worse, you are a part of my life. It isn't a ploy. It's a sincere invitation. I honestly want you to come. Wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm glad. You idiot. I was free and clear. Now he's coming and it's your fault. Since when have your failed attempts at communication through lies become my fault? Since you forgot how to keep your mouth shut, you messed it up, and now you're gonna fix it. And you're gonna keep my name out of it. Why the hell are you going to Cuddy's baby naming? It's a religious ceremony. It's boring. Why waste a good evening that could be much better spent in a drunken stupor feeling sorry for yourself? Okay. Okay, okay, you won't go? Okay, your obligation to Cuddy is fulfilled. <sighs> Why are you doing this? Why did Hillary conquer Everest? You always have a reason. It's usually a bad one, but a reason. She's being childish. See, that's an example from the bad category. Is it resentment? The stork brought home a new baby and you don't want to share mommy? Or you just can't stand to see others happy? She's trying to play me. If I let her succeed, the terrorists win. Hey, she's talking about you. Well, not you specifically. Horrors and hypocrisy. You were right. I don't want you there. It's a special occasion filled with love and acceptance, and the last thing I need is someone there who's filled with loathing and contempt. OK. That's it? You're really not coming? I'm really not coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Gosh, I feel so grown up. Up. Don't you hate when they put the mushrooms underneath the cheese? Your attendance is validating her hypocrisy. She invited you to a ceremonial lynching. Did you go? It would depend on what she was serving. Everyone's a hypocrite. Why are you suddenly so obsessed with Cuddy's particular brand? I'm just making a conversation. Would you rather we go back to talking about mushrooms and cheese? You're the hypocrite. You want to go. You don't resent this baby. You want to be a part of it. Yes, but not until her 16th birthday in some states. This is ridiculous. You two deserve each other. If you want to go, just go and act like a human being. Wow. Solid advice. Except for two things. I'm acting like I don't want to go because I don't want to go, and I am incapable of acting like a human being. House was right about the priest. Genetic tests confirmed it was with Scott Aldrich. And I would have discharged him. Everybody would have discharged him. House included. He only took that case as a stall. And yet it was a real case, and he solved it. By violating his own principles and ignoring the admitting symptoms. Still, he somehow got away with it. Saved another life. You want him there tonight? You should tell him. <clears throat> it's 
cold out there. At least you have shoes that cover your toes. So it's tonight? Yeah. Bad weather for it, huh? Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe your sister will decide the roads are too dangerous to drive on. Fingers crossed. Thank you.